Transit versus Prius coming at you right now. Prius or Transit, which one? Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hey there, my friend. Welcome to the all new Versus series where we pit two or more things against each other. Today, we're talking Toyota Prius. We're talking Ford Transit. When we're talking about versatility for the Prius, uh, I would say that for the size of vehicle, it's very versatile. This can double as your work vehicle and it can also double as a family vehicle by unloading everything if you need to. And you probably do not need or have to have uh, the amount of equipment that I have in here. A lot of this is just poles, but uh, it has accumulated and, and grown over the years. Uh, that being said, I still do try to maintain a pretty minimal setup, but uh, the seats fold down, both seats fold down and allow you a lot of room inside. What's nice about this car too is that it averages about 43 miles per gallon. And so if uh, you're driving a lot, then you're gonna get good gas mileage and you'll probably get about, you get about 400 miles to the, the tank, to each tank, if not more, especially if you're driving around town a lot. If you have to use one car for two purposes, then um, this is a good car. And so for versatility, I'll give it a five because it is rather versatile. You could, um, you could also fold the seats, back seats back up and you could carry a crew of people with uh, minimal equipment in the back. So it does work that way as well. Transit versatility. So when you're talking about the transit at this size, this is the, the biggest size that they have. You'd be looking to purchase this for a bigger operation. So we're talking about truck mounted water fed tanks. It's only a two seater, it's a cargo van. So you can see I have my power washing equipment. If you're gonna do power washing, you could do put a uh, 225 gallon buffer tank in here if you wanted to. If you wanted to take all that equipment out, you could line each side of this van with shelving and I mean, you'd be an absolute storehouse. So for the larger operations, this is the kind of van that you'd be looking at. You can see that the roof, I'm 6'1", the roof is 6'9", uh, so there's plenty of headroom. You can even hang stuff from the ceiling if it's not too heavy. They even have special stepladder racks that you can hang the racks from the ceiling. And you can also put ladders. They have specially made ladder racks. <coughs> specifically for these vehicles thing to consider though is that if you have a van like this a cargo van it can only be a work van i mean if you have a family and you want to sign up your vehicle for double duty this is not really the vehicle for you and so you'd have to get another vehicle and so the versatility is limited in that sense so on a scale from one to five on a versatility we're going to give this a three because of that very factor that you wouldn't be able to use it as a family vehicle okay let's talk about uh cargo space so cargo space versus uh the prius versus the ford transit even if you were driving a ford transit connect the connect is still going to have more uh, more cargo space than the Prius. However, the Prius does have a great amount of cargo space. You can fit a 22 foot little giant or gorilla ladder in, I think mine's a gorilla, in uh, the Prius. You just have to pull the front seat up and you're not going to be able to have a passenger. You could seat somebody, I think, behind the driver if you needed to with the ladder in there. Let's talk about what's in here right now. I have two bags. Uh, clean rags, cat's belt hanging off the headrest. We have our squeeze bottles, a toolbox, and so I have my short poles on top, my longer poles on the bottom, and then my water-fed poles on the bottom too. Three bins if you wanted to. Uh, that's the hose for the water-fed, and then tool belt, just throw it in like that. So for cargo space, I'm gonna give the Prius a four because of the cargo space for its size. It is quite roomy. Okay, so when we're talking about cargo space, I mean, 
this is unmatched in the amount of cargo that you can uh, load in here. Let's take a look around the back here. Americanvan.com, if you go on their website, they make shelving and uh, other items specifically for Ford Transits. All of this shelving I got, that tower there, there's a bin shelving on the side that I installed, and then that big shelving there. They have all sorts of things that you can mount on your doors. The ceiling on this high roof is 6'9". There's, uh, there's plenty of room all around. And so for cargo space, I am giving the Ford Transit a five. Comfort in the Prius. If you get the cloth seats in the Prius, you're gonna be rather uncomfortable. I don't find them to be very comfortable. So the leather seats, although it's not the best leather in the world, it's way more comfortable than the crushed velvet that is in the uh, Prius, uh, I think one, two, and three. Uh, the Prius four and fives have, have the option for leather, I believe. At being six feet, the, the seats somewhat are a little short. I would like to have the seat up uh, behind my knee and it doesn't quite go back far enough for me. So, I mean, it's all right. It's not bad, and I just make the best of it. There is lumbar for your back support, and uh, they, they do have the options for heated seats, sunroof, CD player. So, as far as comfort goes, I think most people are gonna be comfortable in the Prius. It's just that if you're six feet or over and you have long legs, or um, some people do complain about the lack of comfort and so if you're driving a lot if you're a storefront guy a root guy that or a girl um, and you're over six feet tall then you will uh, maybe have some issues with comfort the headroom is nice though and so for that reason I'm gonna give the Prius a three because uh, not everyone is gonna find it comfortable okay comfort so if you spend a lot of time in your vehicle, then comfort is going to be a big part of your day and you want to be comfortable. So being over six feet, I find the, that this uh, vehicle is very comfortable for me. And although it doesn't have some of the comforts that a luxury vehicle would have, it is fairly comfortable. It does have uh, AC, it's got a CD player, it's got uh, these vinyl seats, which are nice, leather wrapped steering wheel, and uh, the mirrors give you good visibility. The seats are comfortable. There's plenty of leg room. There's plenty of headroom, plenty of storage, plenty of cup holder space. And uh, so if you're driving a lot, if you're doing a lot of route work or you're just driving a lot in your car, this is a very comfortable car vehicle uh, for working. Now it doesn't have heated seats. It doesn't have heated mirrors, but it does have enough uh, storage and it has enough outlets for your uh for your devices and things such as that so this this vehicle gets a rating i'm actually going to give this a rating of four all right and finally cost so when we're talking about cost for the prius uh, this is a very cost effective vehicle for your business especially window cleaning the gas mileage is you're going to be spending with, um, you know, I don't know what the prices are, but I spend about $25 tops per, per tank when I fill up. And gas is about $250 around here. To, well, I don't really pay attention. I just fill up. <laughs> $229, $249, $239. Yeah, $259. So it's, it's around there. So let's just say $240, $240, something like that. Just say $250. If you really run the tank low, you'll put 10 gallons in and you'll usually get about 400 miles to the tank. If you're going to get a newer model car, you'll be looking to pay probably 250 to 300 uh, per month. If you get a lower, uh, you know, more of a base model, you'll, you'll pay maybe around 200 a month for the car on a five year loan. It's an extremely reliable car. The, I've, had, I've had no major issues with it you know the reliability of the the transit was is has been very good too i just haven't owned the transit as long this is my fourth prius and so i can say definitively that the cost of owning one is really minimal 
So I'm going to give the cost a five for the Prius. When you're talking about the Ford Transit, this particular model, you're looking at about paying twice what you would pay for the Prius. That's one of the downsides of this vehicle. Now when, I, when I'm driving on the highway a lot, I'll get 15, 15 and a half miles per gallon. Right now I'm averaging 14 because I've just been driving around town. The Prius, you know, gets three times the miles per gallon that this is going to get. And so, so expect to pay about two, two and a half times what you're going to pay for the Prius per month. Your car payment, your insurance, and your gas mileage all add up. So on a scale of one to five, as far as cost goes, I'm going to give the Transit a rating of a two. And so that is going to do it. Let's see what the results are for the two vehicles and let's see who won. So there was a total of 20 possible points to acquire. The higher the number, the better the score. And so the Prius scored uh, 17 out of 20 points and the Transit scored 14 out of 20 points. Out of the four categories that we discussed, versatility, cargo space, comfort, and cost, each vehicle earned two check marks. So the Prius earned the check mark in versatility and cost and the Transit uh, one over in the categories of cargo and comfort. So taking all that into consideration, what would probably be the best vehicle between the two? We're going to have to say the Prius. Now, personally, I like the Transit better, but it's not as practical for a one-man operation. You don't really need it, and this does the job. The only exception being that if you do need some longer ladders that are easy to carry around then you probably want to go for maybe you don't need to get a transit that's as big as mine but maybe you go for the transit connect and you can put some ladder racks on there and you'd be good to go so this hereby concludes the first episode of the versus series i want to thank you for your attention and be sure to check out my channel the window cleanse for more in-depth uh, reviews of both vehicles in, coming up in the future, please subscribe to WCR, and we're going to wish you a very happy day in your business. You take care, my friend. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if a life without Jordy is unbearable, check out his YouTube channel at The Window Cleanse on YouTube.